Hello everybody, this is the uh, Morbius commentary, I'm joined here with Mike, you all know Mike. Hello! So, uh, we have decided to uh, give our commentary on one of the greatest movies of all time, Morbius. I'm so f ready to morb, it's not even funny. I, I, I am just, I'm morbing at the bit here, dude. So, um... You know, uh, this is going to be a pretty exciting experience. I, I, I have um, streamed this movie before, but my microphone wasn't working, and I watched the entire movie with, like, DVD commentary, essentially, until somebody pointed out, Joel, are you talking? And I realized I was muted the entire time. You, you were talking for about, like, 40 minutes or something? Yeah. But, yeah, uh, and then, and then, and then his excuse was, the reason that that happened was because he had diarrhea. Was what, he, was what he said. He had diarrhea, which is why his mic was muted. Well, if there really was a was, was a movie to have diarrhea too, I guess it would be Morbius here. But uh, you know, I I uh, I thought Morbius was uh, was a great movie the first time I watched it, but the subsequent viewings around the sixth or seventh time, I think it really picked up. Yeah, I, for me, it was around uh, the ninth viewing where everything started to really click. And I realized, like, we have a cinematic masterpiece on our hands. Now, I have seen a lot of people disparaging this movie. I am not able to figure out why. I'm hoping on viewing 32, I'll be able to discern what people might not like about this movie. Yeah. Well, you know, the first time I did watch Morbius, I, I thought... You know, people are dogging on this movie, but they haven't watched it enough times to really appreciate every nuance here. Like, I, I, I'm serious here. I didn't understand all the plot points the first time around. And it wasn't because this movie looks like a CGI Scooby-Doo movie. It was more so by the fact that uh, I couldn't hear what the characters were saying. Uh, <laughs> but that that's irrelevant. I have picked up a few clues throughout my viewings. What's really going on here? Uh, number one, uh, Morbius is a vampire. And two, oh, like, uh. um, he's fighting his childhood buddy. Uh, and there's a lot of very, very intricate little things and this and that's in this movie. But what what this movie I've learned a lot about is it's 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 about sexuality. Uh, Morbius, Morbius is essentially a walking penis. Uh, this doctor... Right, 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 right. This doctor... Cut or uncut, though? B basically, <laughs> Michael Morbius throughout this movie is, is a limp penis. He gets erect throughout this movie. Because oh, he needs... That's what the he needs blood to work. Because, right! Right. And what does happen throughout the movie, his best buddy can also not work. His body is... is he's got a disease, right? And it, what the fuck is the song what happens when Doctor Who gets his powers? Have sex. Have sex. Have sex. Poop your pants and have sex. That's right. So... so oh, Christ. You're just so smart. This is the problem, is that most... The average audience member is not smart enough to understand the nuances and, like, the no, metaphors they, 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 that, they that, dismiss, are, that are this, They dismiss this movie yeah. as some, you know... Sh shit fuck uh, summer blockbuster that'll make a few bucks and then it'll like they, they they flush it down the toilet but there's so much more going on here you just have to be uh, you know smart enough to appreciate like peel back the layers and look at all the different like penis you, you, allegories you have and, to peel back yeah. the foreskin of the movie the p <laughs> so he is on cut he's an on he's not just a penis he's an on cut penis now what I'm wondering is where is the director's cut of this movie that has 24 hours of raw more material you know i i i can't wait for that but you you know you know, what, you know what's fascinating with this movie too that i've been thinking about this movie is a vampire movie right now yeah this Apparently. movie barely has any blood in well, it according I, to you it's a vampire movie i don't know yet i'm not sold on that bit yet it might be you're saying it is but i so far i mean like I'm not seeing any evidence. I'm going to try to pay more attention this time and see if there's anything inherently vampiric, but I'm not sure. Right. So you're, you're, you're saying that there's not enough blood in this movie for a movie that's about vampires? You think it should be more blood? Uh, you know, because here's the thing. Here's the thing with Morbius. Um, they 
initially, when they showed the trailer of this movie, it had more of like a Spider-Man connection, right? And did you ever watch the trailer to this? Yeah. Well, there was like a Spider-Man connection in it and stuff like that, and at the very end, uh, when this movie came out, they deleted all that stuff. So. And I... I thought that was a great decision. To let it stand on its own and like absolutely, get its own like, abso fame absolutely. and notoriety. Like, instead of having it tied to, to fucking Spider-Man, a more popular franchise and character. Absolutely, right? yeah. Kind of just let it be its own thing, let it breathe, give it room to grow like a fucking expanding erection. Exactly, yeah. Which goes back to your original fucking point. He is a human penis that is constantly trying to be filled with blood to achieve erection. Well, I, I think that, uh, uh, on top of that, what I really like about Morbius here is, um, I like the character, uh, but a lot of people are, like, they, they, they're fake Morb heads. And what I mean with that think is... think so? Yeah, yeah, because I knew Morbius uh, when I was a kid. Uh, I had actually been a little bit familiar with this character, because a lot of people are like, who's... Joel, are you, do are, are you Doctor Who? Uh... <laughs> no, no, that's incidental what I'm talking about here. I'm not, I'm okay. not, I'm not M Michael Morbius' best friend here, you know? Uh, okay. But w what is happening is that I knew... Fuck you, you interrupted my story, now I can't fucking think straight. Uh, <laughs> I remember the Spider-Man cartoon from 94. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in that thing, uh, you basically get this compromised version of Morbius, because in that, in that cartoon... Uh, Doctor My Michael Morbius, um, and again, he's a comic book character. In the he, they couldn't show uh, Morbius sucking blood in that movie, so he has these gross like suckers on his hands, uh, and uh, essentially, ew, essentially he's sucking blood through his hands, and he doesn't drink blood; he drinks plasma. Uh, if you're curious, it, was, it would have been too violent. For the yeah, exactly. Cartoon, if if you're saying, wondering yeah. about this, look up on Google Images, Morbius '94. So he had like octopus suckers on his yes. fingers. So yes. He would just like he he he, he would like touch touch you, yes. and he would suck the blood through his hand. Yes, yes, yes. And when this movie was announced, that was my idea of of Morbius. Right. Okay. And w when you know I saw that it was more reduced to a. Like a Dracula character here, I was I was a little disappointed because I always thought the idea of you know uh, giving someone a hand job and extracting you know the boner <laughs> juice directly is way more horrifying than just biting into a boner. In the comic, he's a fucking like regular vampire, like yeah, he yeah, sucks yeah, necks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think so. Yeah, but in the in the cartoon from '94, they decided they needed to uh, essentially uh, censor it a little bit. Too. But I also, on top right, of that, have him suck, and on top yeah. of that, the Spider-Man cartoon from 94, which I, I love that one, by the way. If anybody out there has seen this uh, cartoon, it's, it's a great one. But they had really weird uh, censorship on that show, because one of the things that the, uh, I don't know, the, the, the network executives was demanding is that you can show violence, but don't you dare show broken glass. Windows being broken is a complete no-no. Uh, but kicking people in the head, fine. God, I wonder why. What, why, why? What would be the motivation for that? I don't know. I don't know. Broken glass? Like it would maybe? I don't know. Maybe it would make they, they thought it would make kids want to break glass or some shit. Yeah. I don't. I, don't... I, I think so. But um, yeah. But anyway, uh, so we're watching Morbius here. Uh, we haven't really talked about what's going on right now, but uh, uh, I. I gotta say, this movie does try to set things up. It isn't immediate, which, you know, you, you could make the argument and say, like, you know, why would the movie set things up like this? That's very, like, okay, now we know these characters. But later in the movie, there's a scene that goes over 10 minutes where Michael Morbius is going down, like, uh, the town, and he's intimidating people and saying that he's Venom, which basically is cinematic filler and fluff, where they could have instead set up some more character development. But I think it's, it's actually great, the fact they did that. On top of that, this scene is fantastic in my opinion because um, Michael Morbius is basically trolling at this like Nobel Prize committee because the Swedish king is here, and they're basically is saying, he really? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's getting a prize for his like uh, 
I- invention here of 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 his uh, you know m- medical stuff but the king of sweden shows up here and in the next scene he's in the hospital and the girl's like what what did you tell the the king of sweden to fuck off and he's like cuz i'm morbius <laughs> Is it was the king of Sweden really in that fucking that room right there? Yeah, did you said it? Did you said like, oh, look, listen. See, he's got issues. That's that's the thing. He had issues with the king of Sweden. Yeah. You know what that scene actually was? Mm. He he fucking got a Nobel Prize or some shit mm. for inventing fake blood. Oh, that's what. Yes, it's the fake blood. That's what yeah, it is. The, bl- the blue, the blue blood. But um, my favorite part of that is like that sets up that. That's so you know he's smart. Basically, that's so you know he's like a smart doctor man who does science. Um, it's really. It seems like it's going to be relevant, but then it becomes not relevant to anything. Almost like that scene was totally unnecessary and didn't matter. Mm. But it really. It, it did serve a purpose. It just in in making it seem like it didn't serve a purpose. It served the movie in a higher purpose. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because you're thinking like, okay, certainly that that fa- the fact he invented fake blood is going to become relevant. And then it just doesn't. And I think that's just such a, just such a bold cinematic choice to kind of like take Chekhov's blood and just like fucking take a big old steamy shit all over it. <laughs> because, you know, let's introduce fake blood in the first act and then forget we did that. Well, th- 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 it does culminate. All that shit does culminate in one thing that I really liked about this movie. Because, um, you know, Michael Morbius, he invented fake blood. And later in the yeah. movie he has to drink blood but here's the thing here's here's the kick about all this payoff is that he made blood but it tastes like dog shit because whenever morbius is drinking blood in this movie he's on the verge of throwing up and it's i don't know was jared leto like uh intentionally acting that way or if it's just like you know but he looks like he fucking hates it so essentially michael morbius made a really bad flavor of blood and you can see it in the acting too he's like you know he could have put like some strawberry flavor in there or something yeah, but yeah. but but i in that fucking video that he's showing at at the global like medical conference there's bags of blood that are blue right so my fucking thought was like okay the in, the the synthetic blood that he invented this life-saving medical technology is blue blood when he drinks blood in this movie he's drinking fucking red blood mm. so my th- I, what i thought was happening was he never fucking drinks the fake blood. Mm. Well, you know, Does, what? is he in fact drinking the fake blood? But on top of that, look at this scene. Here's a scene where Michael Morbius is milking the nuts of a bat. Yeah, I, he's just fucking kind of. He ta- he takes a little nutsicle from the bat, squeezes one, out the one pole, nut, and you know, dude, it's like Jamba Juice. <laughs> they make it right in front of you. He said, you know what else is fucked up? He said, I brought some friends back from Costa Rica is the line of dialogue. And then he he's ripping their nuts off? That's not how you treat friends. Well, you know what? You don't rip your friends' nuts off. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I think I think these these uh, little morbs, they're freaks. Because later in the movie, they, they embrace them. You know, when, when Michael Morbius morbs up, they become like buddies. And at the very end, when he yeah. fights Doctor Who, you know, he like... Yeah. They basically fly out of, out of his asshole and attacks him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you might be spoiling this for some people if you're going to talk about. But well, like, it, the, basically, the friendship deepens, right? I would only recommend this DVD commentary if you've seen Morbius about six or seven times, because again, we're going to be talking eight. about a lot of deep, deep things here. Do you like how blue everything is? This this movie, um, if you if you uh, would put a chroma key on this. You could just turn this into a completely different movie because there's nothing else. So, I think if you if you threw some fucking like some of those Navi from Avatar in here, they would feel right at home. You took like the James Cameron's Avatar like aliens and slapped them right in here. It would they would not look out of place whatsoever. Like this is the planet that movie takes place on. I think I think it's 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 funny because there's a new Avatar movie coming out too. That's true. The, the timing is is probably deliberate probably they they um coordinated this you know they coordinated the release of these films i think I, you know what i love about this movie too because you know this this movie has a lot of cgi in it and i read an interview 
I read two interviews that's pivotal to the, the my enjoyment of this movie. Number one, uh, Jared Leto said, uh, I don't want... Um, I don't want to hear uh, have like face prosthetics or makeup on my face as I turn mm. into uh, you know Shrek essentially. Uh, I wanted yeah, yeah. I wanted uh, he basically opted in to have shitty 2002 Scooby Doo effects, and I thought that was a bold move because you know thematically <laughs> the the special effects is dated and you know the story plays out like a science fiction movie from the 1940s. But what I really like about this movie is that his 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 childhood friend, uh, let's just call him. Uh, Doctor Anti Morb, because I, I don't think they ever say what his name is, but that's irrelevant. I read an interview with with um, uh, Doctor Who. Just call him Doctor Who. He came out and said, "I didn't know what was going on in this movie." And when your actor says, "I didn't know who I was, or I didn't know my direction, or any of that," that just means that you've confused your audience and your actors, and thus it's layered to the point of. It's too smart for even the actors, and I think that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I, I've never heard of anything so bold. That would have bold direction. Very bold and brave. Bold and brave. Both both of those things. Now, did he really say that, by the way? Is that, is he, that really? he did really say that. I think his name is uh, Milo. Uh, it, it's some interview. You can look it up online. And, uh, so the, the, actor's na- the actor's name is David Tennant, for anybody who's curious and uh, wants to look it up. You know what? Speaking, yeah. speaking, oh. speaking of brave and bold, I was surprised that uh, Doctor Morbius's like nemesis wasn't bald, because in every other like MCU movie, it's always just like an evil bald guy. It's always bald guys. And, yeah, they gave him a full head of hair. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pricing. You know what they should have done? Like, because this movie works on so many layers. It should have drawn to the Old Testament of the Bible. You know, Samson and Delilah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how she shaves his head and he loses his power, right? Yeah. It should have yeah, been. That sounds eerily similar to the events of my life recently, as a matter of fact. So, so I'm very well, I'm very well versed in what happened to Samson. Because yeah. Nosferatu, you know, the, the the from the 1930s, he's a, he's a bald rat man, right? So, as he's turning into an yeah. evil vampire, he should have used right. See, Jared Leto. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just gonna say real quickly. A lot of people are gonna get, you know, some shit on me and say like, Joel, this is an MCU. Joel, you fucking idiot. What are you talking? This is not MCU. This is MCU. This is the Morbius Cinematic Universe. Now, if you're going to come to this movie theater and complain about that, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. This is the real MCU, bitch. Well, the deal with Jared Leto, right? And I don't know if you heard this before, but he's a very serious method actor, right? What that means is that he takes his roles really seriously. He lives in his roles even when he's offset. So what I take that to mean is that for this movie... He really did get a degenerative penis disease. Yeah. Like, those crutches are real. Like, he snapped his own fucking ankles so he could walk around these crutches and really sell that to the audience. Um, he's really walking down the street right now. When he morbs out, that's his actual fucking face doing that. You think it's CGI? He's changing the bone structure of his fucking face because he's that hardcore of a method actor. Can you imagine, that's what I believe. Could you imagine yeah. being one of these actors or these extras in the movie and be like, hey, you're marble into the... Uh, the uh, the MCU here, it'd be like, I'm that guy walking right there, you know. But what's really fucking crazy about this, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but uh, this movie was shot. Uh, I mean, this movie looks like it was shot in about three days, but that's irrelevant. Uh, did you know that Mike and I are actually extras in this movie? This 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 whole movie takes place in New York City. Uh, I'm gonna point out exactly where we are in the movie, so keep an eye out. We're gonna point it out. Uh, you might miss us, but I'll show you. I'll show you. Anyway, you were saying? Oh, uh, I don't fucking remember. <laughs> I don't fucking remember. But we are in this movie, it's true. It is true. Um, If you look very closely... Oh, I think that's Stan Lee back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, he's he's in this too. He's... he's yeah, he's he popping it. He pops in and out. The, the, only, um, the only problem is I'm that... Sorry. The only problem is like Stan Lee, you know, was deceased by this point, but they had a pop-out cardboard bot of him. Dude, that doesn't stop anybody these days. You just get a fuck. Yeah, you get a cardboard cut out, slap it in there, be like, look, it's Stanley, everybody. Ha 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 ha. Rub one out and go home. I'm currently watching uh, two uh, cardboard actors as well on screen right now. <laughs> Coincidentally, every actor in this movie is cardboard. Because it's CGI. Um, so they're talking about, you know, more, more of saying, I got this new fucking um, 
the, the treatment that that I'm working on. Uh, I'm gonna save my life. I'm gonna save uh, your life. Um, we have these t terrible diseases that, by the way, um, don't get named. So like, we don't know what these fucking diseases are. Like, maybe it doesn't matter, but it does sort of feel like I mean, like a made up boogeyman. Like, I don't know, you could tell us what disease it is. I think it's okay. I think. There's plenty of real diseases they could have used. Well, 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 well they, have, they, have, they have the Morbius disease. That's what it is. Yeah, call, they make, give it a name. Right? So th this happens in international waters. I thought that this was a joke when he said it. It was like, oh, it's so illegal that it's got to happen in international waters. And I was like, oh, hey, hey, you know. And then there actually, it says international waters. I thought that that was a fucking meme when they said it. I thought it was just <laughs> bad, bad screenwriting. My favorite. But now they're actually in international waters. My my favorite uh, disease in comic book movies has been has always been Batman and Robin. You ever seen Batman and Robin with with Arnold in it? Uh, ice to see. He was you. the ice. Yeah, he was the ice ice uh, ice man, yeah, Mister Freeze. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so in that movie, Alfred has a similar disease to Morbius, and it's called McGregor's disease. Uh, oh, they made they did make one up. Yeah, they they made one up because they were like, we're not we're not want to give him like you know you know bonitis or something they wanted to be like uh yeah. <laughs> she's also made up again <laughs> yes but uh yeah. they, you know but that movie's great that movie's great and because it, it it has a lot of similarities with with morbius here um you know not quality wise but but thematically what i like about the movie is that alfred has this deadly disease and so does mr freeze's wife which had the same disease which had to be frozen oh, down yeah. And at the very end of the yeah. movie where, you know, Batman punches Arnold in the jaw and he's like, Okay, I'll give you the, the cure. And he gives him the cure to his wife. Uh, no, to, to Alfred, right? And then everything's fine. But, uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about Batman and Robin uh, in the vicinity of such a great movie like we're watching right now. But I don't really know what my point was. I used to thought that McGregor's disease was a great name for a disease. Whereas, you know, Michael Morbius's movie, he doesn't get one. Just, yeah, make one up or give them a real disease. Just anything to fucking sell that these people are actually suffering besides putting them in crutches and making them limp. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's just, again, it's just a, a boogeyman to move the plot along, you know? Check out his back, though, dude. He's got fucking some epic, like, veins and shit going on. That's, like, that's the cock veins from, like, the fact that he's a human penis. You can see he's got all those, them, them, them fucking cock veins. Mm -hmm. His spine is very pronounced as well. Have you, ever um, have you ever seen the first Captain America movie, by the way? Um, I think so, yeah. Uh, I, I've been recently been watching all the Marvel Cinematic uh, movies. Not not just to watch this, but, you know. Uh, I was watching all these movies, and I, I, kept, uh, I was watching Captain America, and there's, there's a hysterical thing I don't think anybody talks about. When Ca I forget what Captain America's name is, but let's just call him Captain America. He's a World War II soldier, right? And he's more of an up right now, but I'm gonna say this quickly. Uh, Captain America in that movie, before he gets the serum and comes big Captain America, they shoot him like a hobbit. He's so short, he's basically 4'2", four, four and he's sitting next no, to a woman in a, in, in a cab, and he's this tiny little, like, you know, hobbit man. And I was like, is this a fucking <laughs> joke? <laughs> you know? I re no, I remember this. It looks absolutely ridiculous. And on yeah. top of that, I was gonna bring this up. Yeah. It's a, Captain America and Morbius is kind of very similar in a way because you know Captain America was tiny, Morbius was tiny, but they both grow into giant penises. Big, rigid, veiny dicks. So this is actually, I think, one of my favorite scenes. Like they got the piss in the centrifuge. This guy walks in, uh, talks to this absolute non-character of a woman. So, He's a doctor, in case you forgot. They're doctors. Are you a doctor? I am a doctor. See, it's these, it's these quotes in this movie that just resonates and like sits with you. By the way, you know what I love? It's in, almost like you know what I love in movies. I love when I look at computer screens and it's just like fake UI. I always wonder, like, is that Windows Vista or like Windows Two Thousand? What is that? That's the same vibe as like that. Remember that game you you had me play where you push as many bu buttons on the controller as possible? Oh, mash. To, 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 yeah, yeah, that game mash. Remember that? Yeah. Where it's like, look, it's science! Look, science is happening on the screen! And it's like, okay, If, if, if sure. your movie has a scene where they're hacking into the mainframe, and they're, they're typing, and it just comes up with these windows that say, like, you're in! That's a, that's a good sign of, of writing. <laughs>
<laughs> like so, like somebody programmed the operating software to fucking like like notify specifically a hacker who's trying to breach it. Yeah, that they were successful, right? Like that's programmed in by the developers. So, right, so he's more been out. Yeah, he's Michael Morbius right now. He has he he isn't fully more of that yet. But as you can see, he's he's more been a little bit. But what he's I love, beginning to morb. What I love about this scene here is that you can already see the, the traces of like Shrek on his face, right? Well, I, well, I can't see shit, but you, I can imagine it. Because <laughs> the movie's pretty dark right now. But did you notice that the blue is now red? Blue went to red. In that room. In that room, it's red. Yeah. Yeah, in that room. Oh. And also, he has, like, the fart particles all over him. Yeah. I, I love the fart particles, too. That's one of my favorite parts of, like, the, the, the CG. Have you, have, CG. You, have, you, have you heard the, the term smoke and mirrors? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's when you disguise like, something with smoke because the the audience wouldn't like no. And I think that's a lot like this movie where like the effects are so bad. Let's smoke it up. They won't see it. It's literal, literal smoke and mirrors. Yeah, right? you smashed the glass. Wait, did you just criticize? Did I did I just hear you criticize this movie? No, I, that, was, that was, was uh, that was a uh, layered layer uh, layered. You didn't right? Sorry, I'm a little too Metaphor. distracted by uh, by Morbius uh, flying around here. Yeah, the broken glass wouldn't have flown in that fucking in that in the cartoon. Not in '94. Right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a shot. That's a shot. It's a good shot. That was the morb shot. That was a good shot right there. <laughs> He's got some good screams in this movie. I don't know if you noticed. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know what I love about this too? You know, I haven't seen Bullet Time in a movie in about twenty years or so. I mean, I see a lot of it on like movies that are produced under like twenty dollars, but. But here, I think it really works in its favor because Hollywood you know, moved on from it more or less. Yeah. After but then the Morbius Matrix brought kind of, it back. Yeah. Because Morbius is the eternal vampire, right? He's back from the dead, essentially. And thematically, they took bullet time, something that's been buried and kind of seemed as totally aged and uncool since you know Matrix Reloaded, and they brought it back. Yeah. So when Morbius is flipping around here, dodging bullets, I think I think it's beautiful. You know how. They're saying like basically he's a he's a vampire he's immortal he's timeless he mm. gets to do bullet time even though it's it's fucking very like passe at this point. And just point. like that the, the 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 CGI looks like you know twenty years old at this point too. Now there's a there's a kill coming up that I really enjoy right here right here because it shows you how the morb the morb serum has actually yassified our our main character and made him into a a fucking queen who slays with his long fucking nail fingernail tips. Now, what, now you may be asking, why would the Morb Serum yassify this man and give him fucking awesome fake I, tips? I, I, I gotta say, you brought up something I've never thought about, but I thought uh, having Morbius turn into a more bimbo was a great idea. Yeah, they made it. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's bimbo. It's, you, no, you, you figured it out. It's bimbo juice. He, it's bimbofication juice <laughs> that he's injected into himself. More bimbofication. Fuck. He got a Morbicure. <laughs> he got a Morbicure! You think it did his fucking toenails too? Oh, yeah. You know... You get yes, yes, fight his toenails? I, I gotta ask, you know, I'm, this is not a critique, this is more, uh... I'm just wondering here. So, basically, he injected himself with, like, the DNA of a bat, right? Uh, yeah. I'm just, not a critique, I'm just asking, why can Morbius fly without wings? Because because bats don't actually fly with their wings, Joel. They use they they have like anti grav organs. You didn't know oh. that. So so without, they have like what, a like a. So what, what what Morbius when he's like plucking out their nutsack, they just on the floor. That's not a nutsack. That's a gravity bladder. Oh, it's like that Gary Small the hoverball, whatever they called it. Okay. Exactly. So he's taking the the the, anti, the grav bladder DNA and he's infusing it with piss and he's injecting it into his bloodstream and he says it's Morbin time, right? And it's giving him the ability basically to float. Like like it's not like he he doesn't fly. He basically glides on the wind on the currents, right? That's why he jumped in front of the fucking subway in that one scene. I, I'm right. curious though because you know under this 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 movie's logic, which is flawless. I'm wondering, like, if it wasn't a bat and it was something else that he injected the DNA of, you know, um, you know, what would it be? For example, let's say uh, a jellyfish. He would have had the ability to um, 
sting people, and, and 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 I guess I guess he would have been swimming. But but jellyfish don't really swim very well either, do they? No, they, they just kind of float. yeah, they just kind of incidentally float around and like you know sting people. Yeah. No, uh, no, probably would have been lame. I was, if it was uh, jellyfish DNA. Well, I, you know, probably went cooler than this. But I was gonna say this. Uh, uh, sea urchins. Do you know how to get a sea urchin's like sting out of you? Do you know how that works? You you, you got you got you got to suck on it. No, you piss yourself. Well, that's for jellyfish. You piss yourself. No, 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 no. If a sea urchin, or what the fuck are they called? If they sting you, like say you get stung uh, uh, on your feet, you're supposed to put a clog the sink. Piss in the sink and whisk your feet around in the in the in the piss pool. It's true. I'm, I'm all making this up, by the way. It's how you get the sting out. Of a sea urchin. Yes. See, but I heard I heard if you get stung by a jellyfish, you should piss on yourself, and if you can't like get reach the angle, you should make somebody else piss on you. That's what I heard. I heard that about jellyfish, though. I didn't hear it about sea urchins. I think I think this. But maybe it's like I, the same shit. I probably. think that would have been a great addition to this movie. Imagine he has to have Just people pissing he has on to each ask, other. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Who. You gotta piss on me. I know he sounds like Batman, but you know. Piss on me, please, Doctor Who. It's my only hope. I'm not gonna piss on you and just let me die. I'm a thirsty little flower, please. These characters are fan favorites. I see a lot of people getting very excited about these characters. I, I um, these two cop, these two cops here. The the, the this guy with the mustache. He looks like. Uh... He looks like uh, who's the guy who hosts uh, not Wheel of Fortune? What the fuck is it called? Um, uh, Alex Trebek. No, it's not Alex Trebek. Fuck uh, th that guy. He's got a caterpillar for a mustache that's like colored in. What is it called? Uh, Steve Steve Harvey. Yeah, Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. Yeah, yeah. That guy kind of looks like that, except he's got a full head of hair. Uh, I was gonna. I'm just gonna call him Steve Harvey. Yeah, you're right. he he does look like him. He fucking does. It's got, it's, it, yeah, he, yeah, the mustache and everything. Holy shit! He's also got like a like a double chin, yeah. which 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 Steve Harvey has like that double chin. Like it really fucking looks. It really. But looks do like you him. see that painting? That's a clown. I love that painting. You, I, I I have two of those in my house now since I watched this movie. I got a third one in the mail on the way to my house. Uh, that, I'm putting them all over my. I, I want one in every fucking room of my house. That's how much I love that painting. True more of will recognize that's a that's a that's a meta little connection to Joker, a previous movie that Jared Leto uh, acted in. That, I, you know, I didn't realize that. I just really liked the painting. I, I, I love, but holy I, shit, I what love a good Jared point. Leto and Joker. He was great. Um, I liked the part where he said society. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. He said, it's society time. And then he morphed those guys. It was awesome. Oh, yeah. He came in here to hold this person's hand. Um... I don't even know who that. Does anybody know who that is? No, I mean like literally. Who is that? You know what I. You know what I think about this movie. The more I watch it, uh, Jared Leto, Doctor Markham, where he's here, he has to drink blood, and he's getting sick of his fake blood, right? Um, yeah. Why couldn't like Michael it's Morbius not... just like fly out to some fucking like ranch and like you know suck on a goat or something? Oh, like chupacabra. <laughs> yeah, chupacabra. Exactly. Yeah. And he could have went out and sucked some goats. Yeah. <laughs> they they don't they don't address that. I think in in a lot of vampire fiction they will address that by saying that the animal blood doesn't work, you know, or it's not yeah, good you enough. Know, for you, them. Know, you know, what, you, you know, you know what I fucking think it was because this movie takes place in New York. Where the fuck do, can you find any f like actual animal that isn't contaminated with like sewer DNA? Like if you snacked on a rat in New York City here, he would have died instantly. You're gonna get a lot more than you bargained for. Okay, okay, uh, listen. Earlier, you're right. I said that he fucking doesn't drink the f the fucking fake blood, but I think that's what he's doing right now. Yeah, but he hates it. Look, look, look. He's like, oh, fuck, that's gross. Right, because it's the fake blood. He It tastes like shit. Yeah. It tastes like shit. He's a bit of a... This it, is like one of the... He's a snob. Th th this is one of the... It, it, this <laughs> is one of those Badlands Chugs videos. <laughs> right, he's gonna do some... On this episode, Badlands Chugs. Chugging He's the gonna world. chug some more juice. Chugging, chugging the world one more bit of time. M more in the world, <laughs> one juice at a time. <laughs> He's more bit, more in the fucking world, bro. I did like the little mini more, but when he w he he drank the juice and it was yucky, and then he went. <laughs> but then he immediately transformed back. Yeah, it was he, really, he, it was he, really. It's called humanity. But you know what I love here. I took notice of this. I analyzed every frame of this. So Michael Morbius has like the scientific formula behind him, right there, right? 
I'm surprised yeah, this yeah, movie yeah. didn't write uh, E equals MC square. <laughs> I just literally put that there, yeah. It's so obnoxious. Well, isn't he worried about fucking his laboratory up? He just doesn't give a shit, huh? Why didn't Michael Morbius just like sneak up to a dumpster and like start sucking on a tampon? Like icicles? Dude! Fucking, that's the old joke about like vampire, what's a, a, a vampire tea? They use a tampon as a tea bag, you, you know? Oh! Dude! I have a big problem with this bat cage. Like I have very few complaints about this movie, but this is one of them. There should be a mountain of bat shit on the bottom of that cage. <laughs> Where, why isn't there? Like, is he shoveling it that often? Like, think about how much bat shit would accumulate in here, and there's none. There's none! Like, that's a little unbelievable to me, as somebody who, you know, is a bat expert. Well, you, you know, here's the thing, right? I think, I don't know if you know this, but, but certain movies, like, if you show slime, it becomes like a PG-13 thing. Uh, I think this movie could, like, only choose one liquid and it was slight blood and in the uh, bags okay you show the shit yeah. and it's like x-rated nc-17 yeah. if you so if you show the shit yeah that, that makes a lot of sense they had to pick their battles okay all right i mean i could suspend disbelief about the bat shit i guess sometimes when michael morbius's eyes turn that way i see people saying it's rick and morty eyes and i think that's beautiful <laughs> it's, it is oh, is about the fourth reliever. ready small one it's coming up here, but wait for it, and then the big one, there we go. The big brap. Right. <laughs> Dude, he must have had some a large pizza with sausage gravy. That's the only way you can produce braps of this magnitude. Large pizza, pizza sausage gravy, okay, extra sausage gravy. That's right. He caught the fucking ball, which was something that I think you would need superhuman abilities to do, right? Throw mm. a ball against the wall and then wait, he had his eyes closed, is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that was what was impress yeah. what was impressive about it was his eyes were closed. So, okay. Right. He was using echolocation. So now Michael Morbius is putting himself in this in this little room because he wanna isolate himself and like I don't want to drink blood, or, you know, but, uh, you know, he, he just mentioned blue, by the way, you might go, again, thematically, you know, when, when Michael Morbius is, is, is human, he's like a smurf, it's blue, when he's red, he's like the devil, it's the, it's the dichotomy that really works in this movie, it's good versus evil, you know, it's, it's biblical. That, it's actually genius. I hadn't considered that. That, that. that was why the colors were so uh, offensive. It's because they're saturating it. You're fucking right. When he's blue, he's good. When he's red, he's bad. When it's fucking pitch black and you can't see total fucking anything at all, when you can't see jack fucking shit, that's the emptiness that you feel in your soul when you're not watching this movie. Now you can watch uh, Doctor Who here. He's right. You're right. He's he's becoming evil right, right now. Right. So he's brooding and becoming evil, and the color red is in the background. Yeah. You fucking cracked it, dude. Yeah. You cracked it. I mean, it's more than that. It, it 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 touches upon like you know capitalism versus communism. This movie works on so many levels. It's religious. It's political. It's life and death. You know. It's sexual. It's very sexual. It, it, the whole movie's a, a, a like a it's a penis. You know. And at the end of the it's movie, at the, at the end of the movie. You know, you can't see anything because your eyes are so covered with, you know, bat glue. <laughs> Guano, it's called, technically. Right, he's going to get the blood in the freezer, right? Ah! Oh! He's more being so fucking hard right now. I'm. Kind of, he makes it look fun, dude. Oh yeah. No, not the, not the, no, not the shitty flavored blue, blue blood. No, no. I, I, he he's a bit of a snob. Blood, he's like, no, dude, I, I don't want to drink this shit. So he, he will regularly do it, because you know, bad lunch chugs he's gotta got drink. Got guys. Like, dude, he spent all this money on it. Probably actually like more billions of dollars in the R and D department to get that shit made. What's he gonna do? Let it go to waste? No, he's gonna drink it even though he doesn't like it, right? Yeah. And you can, see, you can see the red went to blue now. Now, evil. 
Fuck, man. You're onto something. And then, like see, he's coming back. He's coming back. The red goes to blue. He's more been so fucking hard, dude. But he, he's on. He's he's got that duality going on for him, where he uh, he it's it's a conflict and it's, it's an internal conflict, and essentially this internal internal turmoil that is building inside Doctor Michael Morbius. When he morbs up, he basically shits out. He has diarrhea. His he has that evil side to him, and it's got to get out. You gotta get out the poison, dude. It's but, the, but, the conflict that resides inside all of us. But here, but have you thought about something here, Mike? At the end of the movie and the credits, the credits are all purple, right? Yeah. yeah. What happens when you mix blue <gasps> and red? You son of a bitch! He, that's why, because he's reconciled the two fucking the good and evil parts of his mind. That's right. He's the, the the dichotomy has come full circle. He was able to have peace with himself, even though he has an evil aspect. That's right. And he has a good aspect. He is able to find his way through the world. It's the same struggle that we all go through. Yeah. See that that Guys, that's right? that warp like, coming up. He morbed a little bit. He was like, "No, you can't have my 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 cummy, my special cummies." And he was like, please. And he's like, look, I'm morbing out, man. You don't want this. You don't want to morb out like this. And, and Matt Smith was like, but if I morb out like that, that will enable me to poop my pants and have sex. And I'm all about that. Because don't forget, he's been handicapped his entire life, right? Like, I do have a lot of sympathy for this character. Very well-developed villain. Very well-fucking-thought-out, well-written well, fucking villain, honestly. Well, maybe one of the best in cinema history. He spent his whole life crippled. He... But despite like now you might be thinking like most people who are bedridden and stuff they shit their pants like a lot because they can't help it right they can't they 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 have to you know they need colostomy bags they need to you know somebody has to help them go to the bathroom or whatever but in his specific case in his specific fucking disability that he had it was the exact opposite he couldn't poop his pants that morb juice is the only thing standing between him and the ability to poop his pants that he's wanted to have his entire fucking life. He knows that when it's in his bloodstream, he could poop his pants and have sex. You think he's going to let anybody stop him? Even his best friend, his childhood friend? No fucking way. It's, it's, it's the, uh, again, it comes back to the Bible, really. I think it's the, it, it, <laughs> it is that temptation of the, the, in the Garden of Eden, right? That snake is really the morb pill. They both get more pilled, and they get based. <laughs> this whole movie really is like a, like an Old Testament allegory, yeah. if you think about yeah. it, right? Uh, she said, by the way, she didn't like the Jello, which I don't know. Jello looks all right to me, but you know, I maybe I'm being hypercritical of the movie. I don't know. I tend to be very hypercritical of, of films, um, even even masterpieces like this one. Well, well, but you, you're only critical of things because you want them to be even better in hindsight. You want to be like, yeah. Because I'm, I'm sure you guys know this already. You know, Morbius Two has been announced. Uh, you know, and the, the, yeah, I mean, congratulations, everybody. We we did it. We did it. Uh, but I, we did that. You did that. Yes, exactly. And you know, and I'm just saying, we're only given slight nudges of criticism to this 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 Martin Scorsese esque masterpiece because. <laughs> when you think about it, you know, uh, what this movie did is going to be twice as good in the sequel, you know. They'll have learned from their... Well, 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 they didn't make any mistakes, so how could they learn from their mistakes if they didn't learn any, mista no, they didn't no, I, any mistakes? No, I, no, I think this is a, this is an excellent, excellent meal, right? This is a very blue rare steak. It's excellent, but it's got a little under-seasoning, <laughs> right? When Sony decides to... Um, release the sequel they're gonna see all the memes online you know about more than this and more than that and every piece of dialogue is gonna have a nuance of of irony to it and as i've said there's nothing funnier than a uh, comedy that tries to be funny kind of like us yeah that's always going to be the funniest thing ever right that, that never is not funny i mean i have never said a thing that was that was not funny especially when i was trying really hard to be funny Right. Those are the those are always the funniest moments. Like right now. I and mean, this is a perfect example of what I'm saying. It's all very uh, it's all very meta, Joel. At this point in the movie, uh, cuz you know, this nurse that gets attacked here, she gets attacked by Doctor Who. You know. Wait a minute. That's hold on, hold on. Spoilers. People don't know that yet. All right. Well, let's just say F Freddy Fazbear attacked her, right? So, as you can see here, she's like, "What's that? What's that?" <laughs> and then Bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum. Right. But 
again, when I first watched this movie, I was I was like in hysterics. I'm like, oh my god, who could it be? Right? And throughout this movie, you know, it's it's alluded to the fact that they both had the same disease. Morbius is sort of cured, but he's got a you know, he's got a curse now. And like, who could it be? Who could it be? And you find out at the end of the movie, and again, spoilers. But I think, I think, uh, I don't know what my point was about this, because he's got Rick and Morty eyes, and it distracted me. No, I, I know, I know what your point was. Y your point was that usually in movies where there's a scene like that, it's, it's meant to create doubt about who did it. But in this movie, you never have a second of doubt about who, about who killed that nurse. Mm. But, but I, which, which some people would say, like, would use that to criticize the movie and call it bad. But I would say it was another one of those bold, brave choices. Mm where you know it's like fuck it let's just do away with all that hollywood pretense and make it super obvious who fucking killed this person because we don't fucking care about um actually making this movie at all we just let's just pay us i mean no that sounds that sounds cynical and i don't want to be cynical about this movie um this is an amazing movie yeah, absolutely and i have no that was almost sounded like a criticism but i didn't mean it guys i swear to god please don't don't attack that, that's me on Twitter. don't try to cancel don't defense in defense of mike yeah. In defense of Mike, we haven't seen Michael Morbius morb up in quite some time now. And just like how Michael Morbius is addicted to that more bussy, Michael has not had any morb content right now. And he's kind of like starting to morb up a little bit. And that's why he's a little bit tense right now. But don't worry, everybody. There's going to be plenty <laughs> of great scenes coming up where we calm down. Steve Harvey. <laughs> oh, man. Look, look, it's him! It's fucking Steve Harvey! <laughs> it's him! It looks exactly like him, except, you know, the one obvious thing that makes it not look exactly like him. Holy shit. Oh my god. Well... What I love about... He's saying... Yeah. I was gonna say, I was I was talking about this earlier, but, uh... They, they... <laughs> <laughs> it's him! When was the last time we watched? No, it's not Wheel of Fortune. It's The Price is Right. No, what? That's another ball asshole. What the fuck is it called? Uh, uh, what's the game show called? Please. Family Feud. Family Feud. Family Feud. Yes. Yeah. yeah Family yeah, Feud. It took me that long to remember yeah, myself. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Family Feud. Uh. You know. It, it, but then again, you know, maybe maybe there's a deeper connection to it because basically Michael Morbius <laughs> and his you know, brother, it's not his real brother, it's like, you know, but they're so close to each other, they have a family they're feud. They're like brothers. They have a family feud. They're right, right, yeah, essentially, yeah. Oh, I love this shot, I love this hard. shot, because you bring back the bullet time to reinstate that, wow, that's movie. That's a movie. That's a fucking movie right there, if I've ever seen one, holy shit. I'm surprised they didn't have Holy the entire shit. movie, you know, um, shot in bullet time to squeeze out the content, but, you know, that's brave of them to, you know. Yeah, like, dude, you, like, like, yeah, in my defense, he hasn't morphed out. This is the first time we're seeing him more about in a while, so, like, you could be, you could, why would you think it was him? Mm. Why would you ever think it was Michael, it was, it was Michael Morbius, right? But again, I think a lot of it is misdirection, sleight of hand, smoke and mirrors, like you said before. And I'm wondering why he didn't just fly away, but I, I'm not, again, that's no, not a criticism. No, 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 listen, listen, if he flew away that way, it would have been exactly like Neo. And we're watching Morbius and not Morb Tricks, okay? This movie... Morb... <laughs> Morb Tricks! Tonight, there's gonna be a jailbreak. Oh, yeah. He's gonna morb out of here, dude. Well, they're making it seem like he can't. Well, it's because he hasn't had blood in a while, right? So right. he can't morb. So we, we, we know he can't fully morb because... Oh, fuck it, whatever. Um, I've heard a rumor that uh, these two... Uh, actually, the movie had way more stuff going on in it. Uh, again, it, it, there was a rumor that the trailer... Uh, featured more of these two, and it also had mm -hmm. shots of like uh, Venom and Spider-Man on some graffiti walls and all that stuff. But there's there's yeah. a, there's a scene coming up here. I want to talk about this, and um, you know it's a little more. In, maybe I should reserve for them, but I'll talk about it now. Uh, what do you think Michael Morbius was insinuating when he said, "I am Venom"? 
are you trying to are you are you implying they could literally be the same person i think so a th you have a theory you're working I, on a theory I, here, I, that they're actually I, the same I, person? I think they are the same person i think they are the same person because um venom has teeth morbius has teeth yeah morbius morbius has teeth yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's he's like a he's like a venom uh on society yeah and on top of that uh, he's got venom in his blood yeah yeah he injected venom that's what the the, the piss is it's actually it's, it's bat venom yeah right but uh, y'all check out my film theory video about that it's coming soon um uh, you know subscribe to my youtube channel i do very deep analytical um reviews of this movie who played venom who was that guy that was uh the, you, you're, you're saying that i don't know tom cruise hmm. i don't fucking know I think it was Tom, I think that's right. I think that's correct. I think that was Tom Cruise. That was Tom Cruise. Artificial blood. So they're going to do a thing oh, where oh, oh, they oh, 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 oh. oh, he's yeah, the morb is happening. The morb is happening. I started to get hungry. Yeah. Listen, listen. Snickers moment. You don't Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and or like I don't know, Hulk moment. It was like, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry, that's but true. you don't want to see me that's when I'm hungry. True, that's right? true, that's true. You know what? He needs a lawyer. He needs somebody specifically who practices Morb Law. Mm. Do they have that? Mm. Morb Law. We need a, mor a, mor a, a fucking Morb Law specialist. Not Doctor Who. Doctor Who is, does not practice Morb Law. I wonder if uh, Doctor Who smuggled in any cigarettes for Morbius in his ass because I heard his ass is bigger on the inside, so he could fit a lot. He could fit a lot of cigarettes in there, right? Maybe a cake file, like a, like I, like, I, a, like a nail I, file. I'd try love, to break out. I'd love an episode where where Saul Goodman would have shown up here. Huh? Saul Morbman. Just have him walk in and be and be like, "Hey, Chicago sunroof," right? Better call Saul too. Better call Mor Morbo. So let, let's say, let's say Morbius got the death penalty here. I, I I don't know how this will work out, right? And they put him in the electrical chair, right? But he just won't fucking die, right? Because he's a vampire. Yeah, and it's just like. But then again, he just becomes a living battery for the 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 the, the city's like in, internal structure, right? So they just like crank him on, and he just powers the city. He's like eco friendly. Morbius solved climate change. Like you heard it here first, folks. Morbius fixed Earth. <laughs> Morbius saved the world. <laughs> it literally fucking saved Earth. You're welcome. So, so right now, uh, you know, Doctor Who is gaslighting Morbius and saying, like, you killed that woman when he reality did it. I mean, that's, you know, it really shows that he's he's already slipping over to, like, being evil and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's... And now he's going to start walking. And now he's going to start walking because he's already... He's already getting sexual, you know? Can I ask you a question, Joel? Now, when, when they were in international waters and they did the Morb procedure on on, Morb, on, on Dr. Michael Morbius to mm -hmm. make him into in, into into Morb, mm -hmm. to Morb him up, didn't it seem complicated and like, they, he was in that, that Roblox chair and they had to inject something into a specific spot in his spine and they had to hook him up to all this medical equipment and shit. In other words, it looked like something that was difficult, that required, he needed that, that, that woman's help to do it and everything. He couldn't do it by himself, right? Mm -hmm. so, so the implication here is that Doctor Who walked into that fucking lab, found the piss vials, and, and just and did that procedure to himself? Yeah, but, but alone? But, but but it's even greater than that because at the end of the movie, spoilers everybody, Dr. My Dr. Michael Morbius's girlfriend gets kissed at the end and she turns into a Morbius himself. Like like, you know, boop. It just turns like slight like it's it's not even like a transformation. She just morbs up immediately. So at that point, you know, the the international waters transformation and all that, it was completely relevant. Right, right. Okay. So, because because he he basically transferred the morb virus to her with a kiss. Yes. Because now it's a virus now. So he when he kissed her, he got he got cooties, uh -oh. but she 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 got the bad end of the stick because she got the morb genes and he only got a couple of cooties from kissing a girl. He's he's about to uh, what is that Kool Aid man? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Who's thirsty? <laughs> he's fucking. And then he did it again. Yes. Sir. Double, double Kool-Aid. 
Man, I wish I could see what the fuck was happening. I bet it'd be really cool. I mean, I'm not complaining. That that was that was an artistic choice. Well, you know, just because you can't see something, it makes you feel confused, right? Oftentimes, the feeling of being confused is also the same feeling as being like uh, uh, dazzled, or yeah, you know. So it's kind of the same feeling. The fact that we can't see and what's going on. Uh, it, it's actually us not knowing that we're having fun, but, you know, again, it goes over our heads because it's such a good movie. It allows room for the imagination to take hold. Exactly. It's like what they say about good, really good horror movies, like, you know how you, in Jaws, like, you never see the shark until, like, you're at the end of the movie? Like, it's just the idea that the shark might be down there is more exciting than seeing the actual shark. This took that approach and applied it to every fucking scene and every fucking character at every fucking moment. And just like Jaws, the shark didn't work, and nothing is working in this movie either. <laughs> no, I mean, it's working, it's working. <laughs> it's letting the imagination take over. It's, right. it's, it's a fucking, fi an old filmmaking trick, right? He got, I took a big old bite out of that fella, huh? And you, we're supposed, they, they thought like people were going to be surprised by seeing Doctor Who more about, like, they were, like if there was still going to be any question in anybody's fucking mind whether or not fucking Do Do Doctor Who had morbed. Like, do you think there was one person who was like, holy shit, wait, he's a vampire? Like, do you think one, one guy, one person on Earth was surprised by that? I think so. I think so. I think, I mean, I was, I was generally surprised by it because, you know, I watched this movie and I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So when I saw, like, actors interacting, I'm like, huh, look at that. That's fascinating. Acting. I think this is acting. Is this acting? Well, Jared Leader is a master of... Uh, method acting. Right, right. Me oh, meth head acting. It's when you smoke a bunch of meth before you do your scenes. Well, I mean, maybe that's what the 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 the, uh, the whole thing about the movie is. You know, like you know, he's got he's he's got an addiction, right? And it draws mm -hmm. from addictions. Like he's addicted to blood, and you know, right. it, it could have might as well have been meth or crack. So he got a, he in order to method act, he he got himself a addicted meth. to meth. He smoked a bunch of meth right before, right before every scene. Yeah, yeah. Totally Just so he could really get into character, get into character, you know. Uh, all right, this is a great scene because you got all that Cheeto dust going everywhere for some reason. I love that the idea. I think what the implication is with all the Cheeto dust and the, maybe like Dorito dust is that Morbius is a fucking gamer. Mm -hmm. And just like gamers like slow motion. Yeah, yeah. He's a fucking gamer. Like we know his in his other big role, Jared Leto. He was the the, the Joker. Right. Uh, if the, if there's one thing so, I, I do love about the subway scene here is the fact that the people around them aren't reacting to the terrible CGI. Uh, but I think it's a deeper complex thing than that because the people <laughs> that are walking around it takes place in New York City and just like New York City nobody gives a fuck about anything. Yeah, you you care you care about your own problems. Yeah. You don't give a shit what's going on yeah. around you. Yeah, and this movie is so that, this movie is about problems. Oh, it's about problems with society, yeah. problems in in, uh, in in culture, problems you know, with problems your penis. With, with, with your with your penis erectile dysfunction i think that's erectile dysfunction is probably one of the bigger themes as you pointed out earlier tonight oh it's tile time baby <gasps> tim allen grunt tile time yep so now now we got more bullet time and you know when an effect like that where the bullets are coming out and it's got that like trail behind it i mean that's just that's that's what i'm talking about see Don't. he he is being juvenile and dance. jovial he's dancing Devil around I mean, the, the, this penis is getting filled with blood. <laughs> Michael! It, Michael! Th th this is to remind the audience what the characters are called, because sometimes we forget. I don't think I've ever seen this, this subway station in New York. Like, I don't know where this subway station is. I feel like they didn't shoot it here. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. There's a lot of subway stations. Did you know, I, I was reading a, a, an interview with the director of this movie, and you, you know where all the smoke trail and color come from? No. I am dead what, serious about the K Fabe off. He said, I was watching a lot of Pokemon, and I like Pokemon. I want to look like Pokemon. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> but Pokemon doesn't look like that, does it? Well, you know, it's all subjective interpretation, I suppose. But just like Pokemon, uh, Michael Morbus here is about to fly off. I want you to... um. Can, remember the song that you that you played that night? Mm -hmm. 
I was. I you would, like sing it? I, I, I just sing it for everybody. I, I was. Uh, I was showing off this movie about five, six times, and every time uh, I, was, I was showing a different song off. Uh, I, oh, you did. Oh, you mixed it up. Okay. Yeah. The first time I did the Mario sixty four fly theme, you know. Uh, da, 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 da. But but I think the <laughs> second time around I did. Uh, I can show you the world indescribable feeling <laughs> yes that one whole new I, world i was in chat and i was like oh it's the pocahontas song and they were like no you they, they, they were like no you senile old fuck that's aladdin and i was like shut fucking who cares whatever who gives a shit <laughs> <laughs> what is that shit? What? Po uh, Pocahontas al al also had fucking songs in it like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, but at no point did like a Native American woman fly off. <laughs> like, what Hang out. Are you talking no, about? no. Because the, the, the fucking lyric is a whole new world. What did they call North and South America when they discovered it? They called it the New World. Yeah, but why would I fucking? Yeah, but she didn't fucking fly colonial... off on a magical fucking carpet to f defeat a fucking you know a parrot and a fucking genie. She was flying was flying on a big American eagle, like in Lord of the Rings or something. I don't fucking know. It was just... They had their ways, you, you know. It was the past. You got to give them more credit. This, this is where ancient alien shit comes from. Okay. <laughs> By the way, monster. Mo look, get... look at that monster energy. How much do you think monster paid to have that in the movie twice? $20. Yeah. That's Maybe half, each time. That's half of the movie's budget right there. Half. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, dude. <clears throat> I don't, yeah, I, I don't, like, what, what, po what Pokemon game? What, 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 what Pokemon? No, what, no, anime no, he, he, like that? he said generally, like, I was inspired by Pokemon because I like Pokemon. I wanted to look like a Pokemon attack or something like that. K-Fab off. K-Fab on. Here's one of the scenes that really helps develop this character into being a fully formed cardboard cutout. Like, really gets rid of some of the extra edges, like trims the PNG, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It makes it seem like she... Oh, that's the vague shape of a human being. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, w one Dude, thing... I was, more a, I was surprised by, by if, this, but I guess it's comic book lore. Uh, I'm surprised mm -hmm. it didn't, like, flat out... Uh, like allergic against the sun, you know. But uh Right, he he has no sun allergy. He doesn't care. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't give a fuck. I was going to say like on the bus, like do you think if if Morbius man spreads on the subway, do you think they call it morb spreading? Do you think do you think this entire movie has not showered once since the boat? Morbius doesn't bathe. That's a good point. He doesn't need to. He's he's his body doesn't produce body odor. He's, that's right. He's the perfect yeah, that's creature. right. That's right. That's right. He doesn't have to bathe. Yeah. He licks himself clean like a cat, dude. <laughs> Look, this they're falling in love. You could you could tell there's there's chemistry between these two. I love right? in movies when like the love interest and the main character has defeated the um, the bad guy, like straight up murder, and there's a corpse laying in front of them, and then they get really horny and start making out. Too. I don't know how long it takes for a corpse to start stinking up, but uh, you know, there's something about it in movies where they all start making out too, instead of like freaking out and like we gotta get the fuck out of here, we just committed murder. Uh, does that happen? I Wait, does that happen? Uh, well, they make out in front of a in front of a body. I don't know if this happens in the movie, but but it's a general like movie trope that happens a lot of times. Uh, but uh, you know. Oh, 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 hold on. This is this is I think like probably a lot of people's favorite scene. Now let me ask you let me ask you a question about this, Joel. Mm -hmm. All right, you, you, be honest with me. Do you know anything about making counterfeit money? Uh. Be, be honest. Be honest. Do you? Well, do you? I, I once, when I was a c kid, I thought uh, like scanning in a scanning in a, a Swedish, uh, you know, piece of paper and like making my own money and like selling it to my <laughs> friends and making my own crypto happen. It's true, actually. I was making my own. You tried that? Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. I, I used to. I used to get ice cream tubs. Right, uh, like these ice cream tubs, right? And I would make my own Pokemon cards, and I would put paper on top, and I would like 
put some tape over it, and I would sell them my own Pokemon shit, and it was just like Laser were, Pikachu. Yeah, I was really doing this. It had like, you, you know, 5,000 HP man. in it, you know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but go, go on, go on. <laughs> Little entrepreneur. Yeah. But re realistically, you know what, dude, jo Joel was like the fucking, he was like Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Like, like with all these, these, these fucking, like, schemes. No, look. Now, I personally don't know anything about making counterfeit money. And I also don't know anything about, like, you know, blood science, which I think is called hematology. Do you, do you know? In fact, I don't know anything about anything because I'm a complete fucking moron. Well, well, my, but my, I know my, enough to know. Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, do you know anything about making movies? Okay, no, hey, great, great fucking point, great fucking point. Because if you didn't, you could have made you know, this. Great. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like you're criticizing it. You no, I, criticizing I'm complimenting it, it. Cause, you know, this, 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 I've never heard of the director before, and I don't know if he directed tampon ads before this, but he did a great job. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry, uh, I was going to say continue, but we're coming up to a legendary scene here. That's right. At, at this point, it's being ironic because it is a movie, right? It yeah. is. It is a movie, and this is the part where the mysterious guy with the hoodie comes in and kicks everybody's ass. Yeah, it's almost. It, 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 it's like post-meta. Like we're in an, an, an era, the era of post-meta, where everything is so meta that it's not meta anymore, and then it becomes meta. I'm surprised again. Morbius doesn't like wink at the audience and be like, "My name is Michael Morbius," just in case you forgot. <laughs> But then again, then, then again, the he does, yeah, he does do that, because there's a scene coming up where he's looking at the guy and saying, I'm Venom, just kidding. And that's to say to the audience, you thought I was Venom, but I'll, I'll correct myself so you guys don't get confused. Stinky pinky, there it is. Here we go! He's Venom. And you think, my god, that's Venom. But then he says, he's joking. It was a joke. Wait, but, but wait, but wait, but he didn't, but he didn't say that. But he didn't, but he didn't say it was a joke. Why didn't he say it was a... No, I was just, just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Mor Morbius. I'm just kidding. But that's not what he... Maybe, maybe I didn't hear it. Uh, we uh, have been talking a lot over the Okay, movies. well, we well, well the, the verbatim that. line is... I am Venom. Right? And it's like, I'm just yeah. kidding. It's my, Dr. Michael Morbius. That, that, that's verbatim transcription of that. Uh... And I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that's to let the audience know that he is not Venom. He might not know that... <gasps> oh, my oh, God! No. What the fuck was the director thinking when he unloaded this masterpiece onto the world? That's... My comments. This song is gonna be played at my wedding. I'm gonna have this played at my funeral and my wedding. Yeah, yeah. Every major life event will have this song. Apparently, I've been corrected by chat. The line where he says, "I am Venom," and he says, "Just kidding, it's Dr. Michael Morbius." That was removed <laughs> in the theatrical cut here. It's in the trailer, but not in this. Apparently, that's that's great. It's too. not. It's. It's not in the movie. It's not. They they edited it out of the I movie for right, some yeah. reason. They removed it from. They removed it from the fucking movie for some fucking reason. Um. But now he. Uh, all right. He has. He has pooped his pants. Mm. And now he's ready to have sex. He's having sex you know, again. The the lyrics are. He pooped his. He pooped his pants. He pooped in his tent. He pooped in his spam. In other words, he opened a can of spam and then he pooped in it. But but there's something now very, very pivotal you've forgotten to mention about this. So the lyrics says, What's that? Have sex. And there's something else coming up. And that's he's saying, Excel. Have sex. Excel. Doctor like an Excel who, spreadsheet? Doc, Doctor Who is excelling at sex. He's not just having sex. He's having like sex too. Yeah. Like sex plus. Yes. Yeah, he's having the, 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 the like, e like, even more advanced kinds of steps Absolutely. than we're even capable of. Absolutely. Oh my god, dude. He's gonna... Okay, so, the point the, the point I, I wanted to make before was, how do you fucking take, a, like, basically printing presses that are meant for making counterfeit money and convert them into fucking lab equipment to make b b a fucking vaccine? Well... There's that sequel coming up, and I hope to get many answers to these questions that we have. Could, 
could be. I do have that one question. It could be answered in the sequel. I don't know. Maybe like the ink centrifuge or something. Like the ink machine was a fuck. He was using it as a fucking centrifuge or some mm. shit. Is that is that what the fuck it was? I believe it is to let the audience know he has a scat fetish. I think it's pretty clear that Doctor Who has a scat fetish. Um, I I think that that I, I, they I, might I, not have I, even I, I needed the song. I don't for think us that's that. necessarily. Uh, like a fetish for him. I think just having the convenience of, you know, shitting without, like, having some sort of, you know, blood disease that makes you shit out your guts. He's shitting normally. It's just a convenience of, like, having that superpower every day, you know. He can shit his pants, and he can do it whenever the fuck he wants. And it's that power that gets to his head, you know. That makes him, in the end, you know, go off the, the, the deep end and kind yeah. of embrace his, his dark side, yeah, right? Because yeah. he, they made it too easy for him. Hmm. You know, it, it's, it's he's drunk with power. Mm -hmm. Pooler. Now it's really blue in here. Yeah, because it's given the impression again. It's that thematic colorness of blue equals good, but it's also being facetious. He's kind of like how Michael Morbis said earlier. I am Venom. He's not really Venom. This guy's not really good, and it's leading the the audience on to be like, okay, I can trust him, but in reality, he is bad. He's he, he's he's gonna morb so hard any second, and nobody's gonna see it coming because the color blue. Yeah. You gotta be observant in this movie. You gotta pay attention. This is a movie that requires active, uh, an a, an active audience participation. Basically, right? what you the, cannot what, passively what, watch. What this you movie. need to do when you're watching a movie is to activate your echolocation and pay attention to what the characters are saying with the two arms. Ah, that's what they're going for, right? Open your fucking ears, dude. Mm. Someone said, blue also means sad, which sympathizes uh, with this inner struggles. But blue also means smurf. A disarming smile. God, this acting is so good, it gives me chills. Now, I don't know if any Doctor Who fans watch this movie just because uh, this guy was in it. Uh, but if you watch this just for that, like, oh, I can't wait to see Doctor Who play a bad guy. I don't know what, what else he acted in besides Doctor Who, but uh, if you watch this movie just because of him, uh, I gotta say, it, I think it's a great, absolutely great addition to a movie where you don't even know what the villain is called. Because at that point, it's the imagination kicks in. You can name the villain or whatever you want, because they don't really give him a name. I think his name is Milo in the movie, because they mention it once. But, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a testament to the fact that you got to watch the movie several times to decipher basic plot points. Like me, for example. I'm on my 49th watch. Mm. And I'm still learning new things. I'm still noticing new things. Yeah, like, absolutely. I'm still, like... like like it's just it, the movie has a lot of layers. Mm -hmm. You just gotta again, you gotta peel him back like a foreskin again. Mm -hmm. And just like, oh, I like that guy. Like he he he's he's fucking swirling the cat shit so he can get like a nice good huff. There might be a morbid. It's like a wine con like a wine connoisseur, like swirling the wine in the glass before taking a whiff. Yeah, there might be a morbid skip down there too. A morbid skip? Oh, see, you got a little bit of blood there. You know, I don't want to scare the audience, but you, you gotta put him in a little bit. Do you think Morbius was shitting in that kitty litter box? Well, he is an animal. He's turning into an animal. Yeah. yeah. God, that's so cool. Michael. Do you do you feel do you feel a sense of strong connection to the movie because your your name is literally Michael? Do you feel like you can project yourself into the movie and you can like pretend to fly around and bite people? I feel like I'm basically I am this character. It's kind of like remember remember like kinning and stuff. How people are like, okay, like I am you know I am this other person. I am Doctor Michael Morbius. In fact, I'm I'm actually looking into getting my medical medical degree so I can have the word doctor in, in front of my my full name. Also, I'll be getting it legally changed to Morbius, well, uh, and I will be getting the word Morbius tattooed on my uh, on my penis. Well, I I hope you recover soon, Michael. Thank you. No, I mean I I don't want to recover. This is this is who I am. I'm Dr. Michael Morbius. You want you you, you want you want a morb? You know, I gotta say about this movie, I have watched this movie around literally uh, 16, 17 times. I'm not even kidding about that. Yeah, I know, uh, I know, I know. Uh, I I think that this movie 
is 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 fascinating because there's nothing about this movie that makes it inherently so memorable that we remember it but sometimes a movie can just be so good and so memorable that it actually loops back to being one of the funniest things i've ever seen in my life uh it's interesting how movies work that way you know and here's here's my, my point about this is um if you watch this trailer on youtube and you upload it on your youtube channel they haven't even made it so that you will get a copyright or a content id claim which basically you think that is I think because Sony had so much faith in this movie that uh, they basically took every precaution to make this movie as good as possible. And now that people are kind of uh, embracing it fully, they're saying, uh, let's rush this into a grave. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, pivotal. This is where they kiss for no reason. Right, because there's been no build-up towards a romance. They, there's been no... Um... See, see see what Doctor Who's doing? He's yeah. looking on as these two are essentially having sex. He wants that, yeah. but he likes to watch. He's really enjoying this, yeah. He's like, that's cool. I just pooped my pants. I think it was... Uh, to, to have the, the romance subplot shoehorned in like that was actually, I think, a favor to the to the audience mm. um, in the sense of like the way everybody is tired with like, no, but I don't want lovey-dovey bullshit in my movie. I don't want flirting. I don't want that. But they have to have, you know, a fucking subplot. So what do they do? They remove the actual fucking substance between the two characters. That way, I don't feel like butthurt about it. Like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm a virgin, right? I don't have to think about it that much. I can close my eyes and look away from the movie when they kiss. In fact, fun fun fact, by the way, I don't know if you heard this or not, but this goes back to what a great method actor that Jared Leto is. He actually kissed that girl for this movie and, and you know, risked himself, you know, becoming like somebody who, who, who like comes. He almost he risked it retaining all of his semen to shoot that one scene. He would have lost his Sigma status. He came that close, but he risked it all to get into into character for this movie. He actually kissed that girl. He actually fucking did that. <laughs> I was like, I zoned out watching this movie. I thought you said uh, Jared Leto had diarrhea throughout the entire method acting. <laughs> okay, that too. He held it in. That too. No, that that also that. <laughs> he was retaining his feces as well. Yeah. This is another well-known trick. Okay, so this guy is coming in. He's gonna try to tell Doctor Who, uh, "Look, man, you, you gotta, you, you gotta chill, bro. Okay, you gotta rein it. You gotta rein it in. You gotta take it down a couple of morbs here, buddy. Okay." See, this, this, this is really like this is a, this is a, this is really a big scene because it's a Judas kiss. It's like a complete betrayal because not only is Michael Morbius being betrayed by Doctor Who here, but it's like his, his. Um, like foster parent essentially that you know adopted and, and all that stuff he's he's killing his father it's like uh it's not like cain and abel but um you know it is that uh it is that uh i don't know what bible story Oedip it is, oedipus but, yeah Oedip Oedip Oedipus. Yes. Oedipus. yes it's like oedipus the... except i don't think anybody's mother gets fucked i don't think um, either that somebody pisses their pants either maybe that wasn't the right word well the audience is getting fucked over with this somebody's getting fucked So, oh, there's the white blood, right? The, the blue blood. Yeah, you see the color scheme, by the way. Blue, red. But there's a little bit of red on mm. this on his, on his face. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't do it for him. Mm. You know, this whole angle doesn't make sense. There's no reason for him to be evil. This feud that they're having doesn't make any sense. I, I can't K-Fab anymore. I, I hate this movie. I'm sorry. I, I, I have to... It, the dam is broken. I can't do it anymore. But you know, to, to my credit, though, I made it like an hour. <laughs> well, you know, I... Unlike you, you fake morb head, I have watched this oh, movie... No, he's, still, he, he's still going. I'm, I have watched it 17 times, and I can tell you that uh, this movie gets better with each subsequent viewing. And, uh, you know, if you're gonna come here to my clubhouse, you know, you're gonna come in here, you're gonna still be dressed and still watch Morbius with me, and you're gonna act this way, you can GET OUT! 
I'm getting dragged out. That's it. Ejected from the theater. Just like this, Dude. it goes. Whoop. Did did you did you see uh, did you see Doctor Who transform into David Bowie? There's a mob man waiting on the sun. He looks like David Bowie in that. Right, look, look right there. You you don't see it? All right, let make him stop morb when he stops morbing. Look, look. Obviously, when he's not morbing, but he, he some for some reason the makeup makes him look like yeah David Bowie in his old age. <coughs> If you were if you were to pick anybody else to play uh, the villain instead of Doctor, who would who would you pick? Jared Leto. You're saying they would play against himself? Yeah, think about how cool that would be. Because it would really fucking it would show you the internal struggle, like outside as well. Like you got the internal struggle of him fighting himself. It's it's like him versus his more uh, fucking instincts. What, what, do you, but then, do you yeah. think that do you think that the the blue color scheme in this movie would benefit the the chroma king on that? He can just like play himself in camera because he can just like walk off the set and he just like naturally blend in the environment because everything is blue. Think about that though. Like that would be it, it would save on production costs. It, as well. it looked like the prequels. So it'll be great. Too. Now I see what you're saying. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I think that'd be a great idea. But personally, I would have picked someone like John Malkovich. To play. <gasps> oh, hello. I am John Malkovich, and I play Morbovich. the anti mob. <laughs> Can I tell you something? That's an awesome Malkovich impression, dude. Like that's that, Thank that's you. fucking great. I'm John. He's one Malkovich. of my favorite actors. When I that's played a good a Malkovich. Morbius, I did a lot of method acting. I drank Jared Leto's piss. Mm. <laughs> Why do you do that so good? Stop! Because John Malkovich is a bald man, and bald people act like aliens. Oh, he wants right. He wants to bring in he, somebody balder. Would have because would have again, bald people ball. evil. Bald people play the evil guys in fucking MCU movies. Ba boom. Why do you think Jeff Bezos lost his hair? Because he became evil. Hmm. And that, this is just in and movies. And that, that's, when, when, that's why that, yeah. that's why Elon Snusk, like he was balding, but then he got a hair transplant to hide the fact that he was so evil. Right, he did. He did get a, a hair yeah, transplant. Yeah, he, 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 he was getting that. He was getting that. Dracula peak. Huh? Yeah, the the, the widow's peak. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Elon Snusk. I'm sorry. So I, now more. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I see Morbius is going to be motivated to go to go fight Doctor Who now, mm. but I guess they felt like he needed more motivation, right? Mm. Like he that wouldn't have been enough. That guy dying wouldn't have wouldn't have been enough, right? Yeah. So like back to back, we get two characters dying in this in in a matter like in in under a minute. Mm. So and again, Doctor Who is only doing this to piss Morbius off. Yeah. No, no other reason. No other reason. No other motivation other than to piss Morbius off. That's our cameo right there. You see us down the street? That's Michael and me. You just missed it. You just missed our cameo on the streets of New York. Did you see it, chat? Did you see it? You, if you looked really close, you could see us challenge shitting behind the dumpster. That's right. They asked the director asked us to do that. We were like, I don't know, that seems weird, but you know what? You're the you're the boss, but let's do it. If I can give anything to this movie, if I can give any, uh, let's say, uh, overtly sincere uh, criticism, is that uh, I think the echolocation stuff in this is is uh, you know uh, it is something. It's something in the movie that isn't bullet time or you know uh, talking in a dark alley. But you know, hey, you know what? Uh, you sometimes uh, gotta find little nuggets. You, you're saying that that's something that's like kind of unique to the to the movie. It's it's the exact thing that happens in Daredevil. Like that's exactly what Daredevil does. That's how he sees. Like it's it's the same. And just like, like it's just ripped off. Just Daredevil like Daredevil, movie. I feel like I'm being blinded right now. Huh? <laughs> 
Well, it's red now because she's evil, I guess. That's what. That's the the, the lighting the lighting scheme. Well, again, see, see, she is transformed to a morb. That's that that's morbification right there. The, the okay, the, so that gave her the morbification, see? See, not see, see, her see? getting bit. No, not her getting bit by by Doctor Who. No, no, because Doctor Who bit her. Yeah, no, no, you, you didn't see. See, she Michael Morbius had like a. He had a cracked lip or something like that, and he just bled into her mouth and went, you know, that turned her. Uh, okay, so that, okay, that turned, her drinking his blood turned her. Yeah. Okay, so she's yeah. morbid yeah. now. Okay, she's morbid. That's how it works. Yeah. Dude, he's gonna morb so fucking hard right now? Because now he has double the, the, again, double the motivation. Here yeah. it is. No, here's the scream, chat, the scream. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that is one of the best cinematic fucking screams. That's better than Darth Vader or a, a, any other movie scream. See the, 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 that face with the CGI on? You could say, you could have said, you know, maybe they should have used prosthetics for this, because you know, probably having a latex mask like that would have costed like I don't know, maybe uh, twenty thousand to make a mask like that. But the CGI probably costed about five billion there. But man. This movie made his money back, so... <laughs> no, I'm telling you, he's a method actor. That way, he, he had fucking facial reconstruction surgery for that. Mm. And so, then they put his face back afterwards. Now, here's the thing with watching this movie, right? Um, this is around the, the, the time where this movie becomes completely... Uh, just like a bat, you need echolocation to see anything. But, uh, you know, this is this is my copy of the movie. Uh, I don't know if yours might be brighter, but I can't imagine watching this in the theaters because you probably would have gotten, like, nightmares soon. Because you can't fucking see uh, anything. If, it, this is the part where if you want to try to tell what's happening, yeah, you have to use echolocation, so everybody scream real, real loud at their monitor uh, in order to try to figure out what's going on. And if your mom, if your mom uh, walks in on you, you still like a face. Yeah, just, <laughs> just more batter if she if she says anything funny, okay? Yeah. Just more batter. And if she asks, what, the fuck, the, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? You're keeping us up all night. You say, I'm gonna poop my pants. I'm having sex. Oh, he's finally getting laid. All right. Ooh. So that was a good yell too. I gotta admit. Uh, now they're fighting in the sewer. And uh, do you like sewer levels in video games? Love them. Love them. You know, I, I love because, them in movies too. Love them. Yeah. Uh. Fun shit always going down in the sewers, right? Do you notice that his 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 jacket or trench coat looks like a Dracula's cape right now? I think that was genius. Uh, I don't I don't notice anything because I'm looking at a pitch black screen. <laughs> I don't know I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're looking at. Oh yeah! Oh, he must have had some extra sausage gravy to pull this off, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. See, so drops Plop. down. He just sh dropped like a shit nugget. Mm. He dropped like a shit nugget, like uh from the studio into the theater, so. <laughs> and we're here to wipe it up, baby. Now, do you know how big, um, like, fruit bats are? Yeah, they get pretty big, man. They're like the size I, of kids. When I was know? in Australia, dude, they're the size of, like, like a raccoon or, like, a cat. They're insane. Yeah, that's, that's fucked up, man. Yep. But these are, I guess they're not, they're not fruit bats. I mean, I don't know what the fuck kind of bats they are. Oh, they're, 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 they're just they're, bats, they're, it doesn't matter. They're, well, they're bats from the year 2001. They're CGI bats. <laughs> yeah, look at them. I, I, I fucking... I saw the, um... Critically did the moist meter on this movie. He said this scene looked like somebody mashing together two action figures in the dark. If you were, let's say the target audience of this movie is your eight or nine, uh, yeah, would you have enjoyed this if you walk out of the theaters afterwards? No. Uh, I remember seeing Scooby Doo no. No. with my mom when that Scooby Doo movie came out, 
And I was like, yeah. what, what does Scooby look like that? And even as a young, impressionable child, I said, this movie looks sideways. I, I can't connect with this. And I, I probably would have... I probably would have like you know kids these days they just play with their phones during a movie. This is right. th this is a moment to just play the Roblox. This is movie. Really <laughs> they, yeah. they were look. I, I can, can anybody see anything like jokes aside? Like can anybody fucking tell what's happening at all right now? Can anybody fucking discern anything except you know that that there's bats happening. But beyond that, well, you know. It is that imagination you fill in, you know. They're right, that you know again. What? They should have just, they should have just put the a, a complete black screen and put a text on saying you fill it in. <laughs> Pretend you make make the movie in your own head. <laughs> make make it make up your own movie. Yeah, it'll it'll be better than what we got. See now now the I anti anti morb uh, serum has been injected. I love his acting here. Matt Smith? Yeah. Listen to him, listen. <laughs> bottom sound. <laughs> well, now... He made a bottom well, voice. Well, 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 not only that. I mean, he's ejaculated now. He's had his fix. And now it's back to limp penis again. He's morbed out like yeah. he ejaculated. Yeah, he's finished gooning. He, he's, he's, he's fucking... He's going back to the default state. <laughs> he can never morb again, then. Cause you know you know what they call the orgasm they call it the little death, and that's what yeah. it was. Well, now he I think he had the big death this time. Yeah. Well, the whole morb experience was like a little death, but it culminates in a big death. Yeah. It, it, it's all very it, it, very it metaphorical, and if you don't understand it, you're stupid. Mm. But you know what though? It, it, it's true. He got to poop his pants and have sex before he died. Yeah. So I mean, God bless him. I mean, right? he he like that. he lived a very carpe diem sort of attitude throughout this movie, and you know, a lot of people died along the way. But at the at the end of the day, you know, uh, he shitted his life out. He pooped his pants, and he died. He died a legend. Yeah. A fucking legend. Yeah. Right. And there it is, the bat hole. Somebody pointed out that this hole is shaped like a cock. Let me see if you can, if you see it too. More fast, die young. <laughs> it's better to more about than to fade away, you know. Live look, fast. Look, you see the dick and balls. Look at the, the dick and balls. <laughs> Live fast, poop pants. <laughs> Live fast, poop pants. Yeah. Those are bats. Yeah. yeah. And and again, as you can see, Morbius's trail now. Uh, it's purple, right? Because he's com he's truly see, and now boom. Yeah. Now she's also more. She's more. And red means maybe bad guy. Yeah. Who she's knows? gonna be more of that, but she's gonna be evil. She's gonna just become immediately evil for no reason, the way Matt Smith did, right? Yep. With absolutely no motivation. I feel like I can feel his like breath here. It's like ugh, waft away. It's it's so cool. It's such a good fucking. It's such a good time. You made me put KFab back on. Yeah. Well, uh, you know what? You know, what? we'll see you guys again in Morbius Two, Morb and Morbet, Morb Trouble. Well, you can't. You can't end yet. There's post credits. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm sorry, everybody. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, you know, look at that. Based and Morb pilled. Well, what did you think of Morbius, Michael? Oh, uh, I I do really um I do really not like this movie. I'm sorry. Uh, I think this movie. If I can, if I can, if I can, take my face. Oh, I want to take my face off. Uh, I think this movie is 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 amazing. You know, because we <laughs> have a scene like this. We have a scene like this where they take a character from. Uh, one well, of Spider-Man movies, right? The Vulture. Yeah, for and, no reason. And see, he's balding. See what I mean? He he's he's got that widow's peak. Yeah, right, 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 right. Got that. I think it was a great idea to have a character that like nobody likes to into a movie that is also that nobody likes. But I'll say this. I'll say this. What I love <laughs> about Jared Leto, right, is that think about it. He made the worst MCU movie, right? We can all agree on that, right? But hear hear me out too. 
He also was in the worst DCU movie. That's where, what there's, that's wherever what they Jared say. Leto goes, Which, he completely shits it out, and we have to wipe it up. It's <laughs> awesome. I st actually still haven't seen Suicide Squad, but I hear it's 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 not good. It's not good. You want you, you want to know what I what I unironically think about this movie, guys? Um, this could be like, like like this is the the, the death of, of filmmaking. Like I'm not even trying to be funny. Like when they when they like when they do a post mortem on like human civilization and like Western culture, they are gonna look back at this film and they're gonna be this is gonna be a fucking point where. It's like when this movie came out, this is where things started to go wrong. Like this is was was you know it coincided with like the collapse of fucking society. I, I, this this movie really is that bad. Fuck you, Mike, because you know what? These end credits look like a Minecraft intro. <laughs> Minecraft Kid 09. I'm not saying it caused I'm not saying it caused the end of civilization. I'm saying it is it, fucking. It's it's a symptom. It's a symptom of everything breaking down around us. That's how I see this fucking movie. I think that sounds for Mario. A symptom of decay. Oh, the M. Very layered. And here Dude, we go. What if it, it here we go, ties into the Mario movie? Yeah. Ah, pa, 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 pa. So he's driving in his car. Yeah. I don't know why Michael Morbius going? would need to, like, drive, because he can fly, but, you know, uh... Maybe it runs on blood or something, I don't know. So at this point, you're thinking, oh my god, is Spider-Man gonna show up? Is Superman gonna show up? Who the fuck is gonna show up here? And, you know, when I was watching this the first time, I was sitting there at the edge of my seat, just hunched forward, just going, oh my god, who is it? Who could it be? And out of fucking nowhere, out of fucking nowhere, when you'd least expected it, down comes. This. For context, if you're watching this later on YouTube, I just showed him Gachimuchi. <laughs> That's why people watching this live right now uh, know what the fuck that was, but uh, I... Uh... The guy in the fucking suit is the guy that they released from prison in the, in the last post... in the pre-post-credit sequence, in the pre-post-credit scene? In the first post-credit scene, that's him, right? That's the same guy. Mm-hmm. You you didn't watch then, you didn't watch uh, Spider-Man uh, Homecoming. No, that guy is in Spider-Man Homecoming. Yes, he is. Yeah, and then the and people they, they, uh, they want okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, some people are saying, "Oh, Joey, 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 this is an MCU." You know, blah 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 blah. Then like they literally took a character from that universe and you know slugged it in here, but. You know, um, I just, I think that was beautiful. I think this was one of the most intriguing scenes ever because, you know, having the the Morbius cinematic universe being so enriched by by such a great character, I think it was a great move. And I don't know how much money that was for Sony, but this movie generated so much, you know, more cash, more billions of dollars that they can do anything they want now. You know, so they were they were they were mentioning. I don't know if it was Venom or Spider Man, but they're like, you know, Vulture basically said. Hey, I'm bald. Uh, we should check out this guy. And then Morbius <laughs> said, "Intriguing, you know." So who knows what the future of this is? But you were also saying that one of the the, the big benefits of this movie, uh, and one of the most uh, to to you like inspiring things about this movie, was that it was going to stand on its own two feet and not be connected to the greater MCU, mm. right? Like they, that was like a deliberate choice to separate it from Spider Man. But then they kind of go back on that at the end of the movie. So where do you stand on that? Is it would it be better if they didn't infuse elements of, of the other uh, of Marvel characters, or would it be better if they did? What do you, what do you, what do you ultimately think they should do? Uh, How do you think they should? It's hard to say because I'm really thinking about something completely different. I like what. Sorry, I completely disregard what you're saying. <laughs> uh, I like watching credits That's here fine. in the movies because I love to see who did the catering. It's one of the funniest things to look at because usually the catering caterer, okay, premier catering. I don't know what that says, but I was playing this Mortal Kombat Sub Zero game from like '96 or whatever, and the credits said catering by like 
uh, Red Dragon Chinese restaurant. And it basically said that sub and Scorpion got fed like Chinese food every day. And I'm wondering what the fuck did he eat on set every day to make such a shit fuck movie? That's a really good point. So let's see what they, yeah, let's see what they ate here. Well, we, we don't know because the, the, the catering, you said like catering by this. It didn't specifically say, but when I'm watching, when, oh. when I've watched the credits of the Mortal Kombat game, it specifically said this one restaurant kept handing out this oh. Chinese food every day. Oh, so so hold on a second. Fucking all we got to do is just Google Google whatever it said. Yeah. Google whatever fucking company it said yeah. and find out what kind of fucking food that they they got. Yeah. I can just imagine. I'll do it. Uh, you know, you know, you know what made me laugh? Imagining that there's such a cheap fucks on the set here that they only got like ham sandwiches in like plastic wrap sitting out all day. <laughs> and like lunchables, like off-brand lunchables. <laughs> Crackers. Crackers and like you know the you know the crackers with the little fucking plastic red thing that you spread the cheese on it with. <laughs> that was the cater. That was the catering for this movie. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it, it, okay, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do something rare and I'm just gonna flat out say it. Uh, kayfabe off for me. I like the fact that this movie is being so mean because uh, it, it, I think it is a kind of a turning point where people are kind of getting sick of generic. Um, generic fucking superhero movies uh yeah you know th 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 this is a this is a rare exception of something so mediocre becoming uh notorious because it is so completely bland and forgettable but uh you know so here's the thing right the other marvel movies that i've watched they're like okay but they're ultimately they're just like fun little kids movies like like thor and stuff like that now the newer marvel movies are a little bit better because they usually turn to comedies or they have a little bit more going on but this movie, it's it's like you're watching something from like the early superhero days, like watching the first, not the first X-Men movie isn't that bad, but like, you know, it's got that hint of bland mush of nothing fucking happening. And you watch this movie and then you're done with it and you're like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> There's nothing stuck. It's also D dude, it, to go to what you're saying, it had fucking bullet time. It had terrible CG. It had the fucking script was 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 dog shit. The the fact that the fucking love interest they did virtually didn't exist. This this was a fucking like basically a, a, an early two thousands even even like late nineties movie. Yeah, but uh, honestly, like in every way, I, I, it was I, like I, fuck. If this movie was made in like ninety eight ninety seven, I think it actually beneficial because it wouldn't rely so much on like the CGI. I think the CGI literally killed this movie because. The CGI has this like complete weightlessness to it. If they actually, you don't think the script k k killed this movie? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, mm. you know, e plus editing. Like, I mean, half of a movie is is using your eyes, right? And if yeah. if you can't see what's going on, you know, the the audio as well. So it's like a double minus in this movie. You know, I'm just saying, if this movie had maybe more practical effects, at least it, it would have been nice to look at. You know. At least it would have had that going. Well, for see the it. music, right, Clark right. Kent. See that? See that? Clark Kent. Oh fuck! It, so it's 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 tying into the the, the DC universe. That's as right. Well. That's right. I think I think that Jared Leto, Jared Lego, is gonna play <laughs> Joker and Morbius. He's gonna be green screen next to each other. You know, it'd be like those. Uh, but it, like but he's also gonna be Venom. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 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 yeah. <laughs> he's also gonna be Ven and Venom. He's gonna have right, sex with himself uh, and poop his pants. I'm really looking forward to the sequel. Uh, um, I, but I, not for the reason. I unironically, like, maybe ironically, I don't know. But uh, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what they're doing with this. And you know, I'll tell you what. If I get to see this movie in theaters, you better believe I'm going all the way to fucking New York City. And we're gonna watch this movie. I'm gonna drag you into the theaters, right? Uh, uh, probably under like gun threat, and be like, "Do watch this fucking movie with me." And then we're gonna sit down, <laughs> and then we're gonna get a big top of, top of popcorn, right? And then we're gonna stick each other's hands down the popcorn top. And what's that? What's that? A penis. We're gonna jerk off. We're gonna morb up, and we're gonna tell you what: best fucking movie coming out. See Morbius two. It'll make you come. We're, we're both gonna have like the same idea separately about cutting the hole in the bottom of the popcorn. Yeah. And we'll be sitting there like, hey, try this popcorn. No, mine's better. Try my popcorn. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> uh. uh no, I mean, yeah. I mean, dude, I, I would I would love to see this sequel in person with yeah. you. Yeah. 
if possible uh, because this was just this was just a blast and I do I, I think that the movie was was like lost in a vault from like 1998 yeah and they just found it and they were like fuck we made this movie fucking like 30 years ago let's 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 put it in theaters I think I, that's the current theory I have uh you might be right because uh, hey, I've actually heard a rumor this is true by the way they've been trying to make this movie for a very long time uh like the script has been but this was like done 10 minutes before they shot the movie but but I'm saying there was a lot of scripts for this idea and character but they never got to doing it and really yeah 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 no, no this movie's been like in development hell for a while uh and you know it comes out and it's it's great you know but uh I do you remember the Hulk movie from 2003? Oh, I sure do. I watched it a few, quite a few times. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's 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 very it's kind of very comically bad. Yeah, I they should do. You remember those like DVD double packs back in the day in the retail section? Oh, these two movies, <laughs> right? Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, just bu bundle up, fucking bundle it up. Hulk, Ang, Ang Ang Lee Hulk, right? Yeah, Ang Lee Hulk and and Morbius. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. A fucking match made in heaven, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my it, god, what a good idea. It, it, dude. Well, uh, all I can say is uh, that was our Morbius commentary track. If you enjoyed the Morbius commentary track, please support the director. They probably need a lot of money after this, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, Dude, I had so much fun. Thanks for uh, having me uh, on and doing this with you, dude. Absolutely. Well, uh, dude, one of my, dude, one of my favorite fucking things is mystery science theater. I always wanted to do something like this. Mm. You know, you can't on Twitch. Mm. So like, I don't know. This was this was like so exciting for me to get to, to get to you, do this you, with somebody. You, you right? should, I always wanted to do this. You, type of you, thing, sh you should know? do you should do this thing because you can you can do this on Twitch. By the way, you can watch these old like public domain movies. Unfortunately, they're like three yeah. hours long of scientists talking in a room. Uh, which make them like near un unwatchable, but I'll tell you what if you ever want to watch like a shit fuck movie from like the 1930s of scientists talking about Dracula I'm down in the day call me up, you know, uh, you know my fees and uh, you know, we'll make that happen <laughs> I'm gonna take a peek at some of these uh, public domain movies and see what's going on. Oh, absolutely Well, I'll tell you what yeah. uh, this is a lot of fun uh, Blast having you on in the vineyard here. It's the first time I ever watched a movie with somebody here in the vineyard but, uh, you know, welcome to pop by anytime, and I'd love to watch some more movies with you, man. Hell yeah. Looking forward to it. I'd love to. This was yeah. a blast. Guys, thank you for watching this, too. All right. Well, now the real movie begins, and I want to say, uh, you know, check back <laughs> check back anytime. And, uh, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, we're playing Gotcha Mucha right now, and Bill Harrington's baby crotch is on screen, but... Uh, Right, I'm gonna end Dear the stream here. God. I'm gonna end the stream now, and I'm gonna say uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, are you gonna go stream normally or do a stream later tonight? Too? Me? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I might. You might yeah. not recover from this um, movie for a couple of fucking days. I, 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 I might, I might have to like lay down and hydrate and uh, just kind of take care. Maybe put a heating pad on my balls after watching this fucking shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if you want, I, I, I might stream later. Uh, Jabroni Mike on Twitch for anybody who's interested. Thank you. All right. Well, everybody, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, Morbius 2, check it out too. All right. Laters. Well, that was Mike, everybody. Uh, that is it for me. I hope you all enjoyed our Morbius commentary track. And, you know, if you would like us to watch more movies, then, uh, you know, maybe. Somebody said there's a Sony state of play in 30 minutes. Isn't that fucking ironic? I hope they announce Morbius the game, you know? Anyway, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, and don't, don't forget, uh, when you morb, uh, put down the toilet seat afterwards. Bye.